How is it going everybody? You're watching Then About Zach and today I'm going to show you how you can do this. That's right, today I'm going to show you how you can set any song as your iPhone ringtone for free. And when I say any song, I do mean it. Absolutely any song that you want, actually any audio file for that matter, as your iPhone ringtone in the process, as I said, is completely 100% for free. You can get your favorite tunes from your favorite artists, any song in the world for free as your iPhone ringtone. And please keep in mind that this video is updated to 2024 in the latest versions of iOS as well. So without further ado, let's get started. Okay, so for this process, we will need an app and that is GarageBand. GarageBand is a native Apple application, meaning it's free and it actually already comes pre-installed on every single iPhone. So take a look if you already have GarageBand on your iPhone. If you don't, it's probably because you have deleted it, but no problem at all, because all you have to do is go ahead here, open up the App Store, go to search and naturally go here and look for GarageBand, that's it. As I said, made by Apple, it's a free app, Apple right here. So you can go ahead and download it if you don't have it, all right? As soon as you have downloaded and installed it, you're good to go. So all you have to do is open up GarageBand. It's gonna open up on a screen very similar to this one. If it's the first time you actually use it, it's probably gonna ask for uh, notification permissions and all that usual stuff okay so you can allow everything and then it's gonna open up like that please keep in mind that garage band is always on landscape mode okay so it's gonna open up on keyboard and all you have to do is slide to the right a few times until you get here to audio recorder which is exactly what we want all you have to do is tap on it and as you can see, you're going to see this interface, which looks a little bit complicated, right? But it's not. And of course, I'm going to do it with you step by step. All you have to do is go ahead here and tap on this metronome icon, which is highlighted in blue. OK, that's the first thing you have to do. Tap on it because otherwise it's going to annoy us in the future. OK, after that, you go ahead here and tap on the third icon from left to right, which looks like a brick wall, right? Tap on it and then it's going to change to this timeline interface which is exactly what we need and then after that go ahead here and tap on this teeny tiny plus icon right there at the end of the timeline so tap on it it's sometimes a little bit tricky to tap as you can see it's gonna say section a eight bars all you have to do is tap on it and then we're gonna need to change from 8 to 30 so manually we're gonna tap on this upper arrow right here as you can see right there until it reaches 30 right we're good to go we can go ahead here and tap outside everything is set everything is ready now let's create the ringtone so tap on this icon right here which looks like a loop it's the second icon from right to left tap on it and then tap on files right here at the top and right here is where we're going to select our song Right here, we're gonna pick the ringtone itself. So the song or the audio file, absolutely anything that you want to be played as your iPhone ringtone. And as I'm saying here many times in this video, you can use any kind of audio file for your ringtone. As you can see right here, you can choose, you can import AIFF, WAV, CAF, Apple Loops, AAC, of course, MP3. So absolutely any kind of audio file audio format you can choose here to be your iPhone ringtone okay and we're gonna select that file from the files app so as you tap here browse items from the files app it's gonna open up your files app right and this files app right here just if you're not really familiar with it it's actually this one it's this files app that's the one so all you have to do on this tab is make sure to download your music, your audio file, your song, anything that you want 
to the files app. So you're gonna download it from the web or maybe transfer from your computer. So you can get any song, as I mentioned, any audio file, but it has to be right here in the files app. If you're not really familiar on how to use the files app, I do have a dedicated video on this. So I'll leave a card right here and link in the description so you can get more familiar with the files app. And of course, learn how to download songs and anything else for that matter from Safari straight to your files app. Okay, so now let's get back to GarageBand, right? We're here from the same page. And of course, I have previously downloaded a song that I wanna use as my iPhone ringtone. So then all I have to do here is browse, cause I know where it is. It's that one, there we go, that's the one. So as you can see, it's gonna load. It's gonna take a few seconds and it's gonna load, there we go. That's an MP3 file, that's a song, right? And all I have to do is naturally tap and hold and move it. As you can see, it's already on my timeline. Don't release your finger, okay? And then place it at the top on the left. So as you can see right there, I've placed it at the top on the left. So then I'm good to go. As I tap on play, as you can see, this song is being played perfectly. So. 100%, of course, you can edit as well. So if you don't like, for example, the first few seconds of this song you have downloaded uh, and you want uh, your ringtone on the chorus on a very specific portion, no problem. You can tap on it and then here you can slide and cut the first few seconds and then go ahead here and move it, okay? It's up to you, you can do that, no problem at all. I don't want that. I want this song as it is, so I put it here completely in the timeline. And then, once you set and edit, you're good to go. You can tap here on this arrow pointing down. It's gonna be your first icon on your left. And then tap on My Songs, as you can see right here. And then, there you go, My Song. This is the previous test that I've made a few minutes ago to show you in the intro. And this is the one we have just created today, 613 right now. And then with your song, all you have to do is tap and hold. And then you're gonna tap right here on share and then ringtone. And as easy as that, you can tap on continue and then you can pick a name for your ringtone. I'm gonna put here my song YouTube just so we know. So my song YouTube, all right? So export, it's exporting as a ringtone. And that's the final step, guys. It's gonna finish it up. You can tap on, you can tap on okay. And then you're good to go. You can exit GarageBand. You can go ahead here, open up your settings, and then tap on sounds and haptics, and then ringtone. And there we go, my song YouTube. Tap on it, and that's it. As easy as that, we have created for free a custom ringtone of a song, of any song, of any audio file in the world. Super easy and super simple, okay? So, that's it. Thanks for watching. Be creative. Choose your favorite tunes right here and have fun, okay? So, thanks a lot, and I'll see you in the next video, guys. Bye-bye.